You're taking a look at just a small sample of 470 million liters of raw sewage, which runs through the Humber Waste Water Facility here in Etobicoke every single day. That's about 680,000 people's feces in these pools every day. Now to say it smells a bit of an understatement, trust me, it does. Though when that stench permeates the existing neighborhoods around here area, residents tend to raise a stink. One gentleman reached out to us saying the smell in particular last night was so bad it actually woke him up from his sleep. It was really foul, almost like not like rotten eggs, but it had that foul scent. Like, I don't even know how to really describe it. It was I've never smelled that smell before. And you couldn't go back to sleep? Uh, I was watching Pulp Fiction. <laughs> couldn't. <laughs> I can't take the buses anymore. I don't really want to go outside a lot. I don't want to be breathing in that air, to be honest. I don't know what's in it. I first visited the plant here just over three years ago. One of the issues in July of 2014 was that Mr. Christie's, the old cookie factory, had closed down and the aroma from the fresh baked biscuits was gone. All residents were left with was the fragrance of foul feces. Back then, we were told that a biofilter, which would cost north of $60 million, was going to go in, and that would have a big impact on the stench of steamers in about three years' time. So today, we came to see why, after a little more than three years, residents were still raising a stink. We have the final phase of that project that's now uh, about half to three quarters percent complete. And uh, given that this work is being done in the confines with, of a live plant, this plant has to stay operational. Uh, there's a lot of activity around taking equipment on and offline to accommodate the construction activity. Uh, in the last couple of days, for example, there's had to be some cleaning out of grit and sand in our various tanks. So that activity in itself, it becomes odorous. Once this biofilter is complete, what can area residents expect when it comes to odor? Well, our objective in terms of the project is to get to the point where uh, there is no odor impact beyond the boundary of the facility. But the idea of uh, the works that have been implemented is to get to the point where at the property line there is no perceived odor, odor is submitted from the facility. That's the goal? That is the goal. Now, it might not look like much to some, but you're actually taking a look at that biofilter, which is being put in right now. And similar work is being done at the other two wastewater facilities in our city. Now, part of their 10-year plan is a massive overhaul at all three facilities across Toronto, and that's costing us about $2.9 billion. Now, this story came to us from a City News viewer. If you've got news in the making or want to raise a stink about something, here's just a few ways to reach us.